Hello and welcome back to another video and today, as lastly, we're doing a video on should F1 go back to this circuit? And last week we checked out Watkins Glen, the Glen. And now we're checking out a certain ring in Germany. And for all of you people who might have thought near boating, no. One, because of safety. Two, grading. Three, I, I went to learn this. So, sort of BS reason, but we don't care about that. But, we're going back to a circuit which F1 actually could go to. And that circuit is by the name of Hockenheimring, or Hockenheimring. I don't know how you Germans say it. I believe Hockenheimring is correct. And why we... I chose this circuit is because is there rumors that it might go, might still not, we'll see. But this is a good circuit. Should actually should F1 actually go back there? Well let it strap put on my glove, start out on the list of two, and see for ourselves. Well as you can see now we're heading out of the garage to see if this circuit is actually good. And if you don't know, this circuit used to be on the F1 calendar. I think the last time it was on was what's it called? Uh, 2019? I'm not sure. But I 2019, I believe it was, was when we had quite the eventful race where Bottas crashed, Hamilton had a one minute pit stop, Daniel Kvyat I believe it was, was on the podium and then Vettel, no Vettel crashed out from the lead uh, in a few corners a few races before but then you had also Nico Hülkenberg which who, re who retired because he crashed into the wall. And here we have actually where he crashed, so here came Vettel and Bang. Mighty new Ferrari fans a bit too close to the heart. But that's what happened. But this also brings quite a bit of fun. And a problem with that 2019 race was is because if we spin if we go into reverse, reverse back. And then we check, as you can see, there is a, no not drift, there, there is a, what's it called now, a, oh I forgot the name, Dr drag racing strip there, and that was super slippery when F1 was it. Okay, so now we are close to the start, and let's start our first flying lap. Why I had to cut there was, opa, uh, was because of my steering angle was a bit incorrect. As we can see, it's quite slippery, but that's because I'm using a default setup. But otherwise, I would say this is fun. Very, a quite a fun circuit to drive at. But as we can see, if you don't put in the correct setup, it will glide and slide, and a lot of things will happen. So you need to be quite precise. And then you have that blind corner which can catch you. Balance build, no, yeah, balance build one. Yeah, so that you can figure out. And there we have a little Mercedes logo. So that's good in the Mercedes grandstand because I believe they come from close to Stuttgart or in Stuttgart. I believe close to. And I remember like in F1 2018 or 19 or something, I had the a top 1000 time 
around here which is quite good but I believe oh this is quite slippery actually a lot slipperier than what Kings Glen I would say but otherwise this is fun turn like that you need quite a bit you need quite a good setup to be able to, to actually drive quickly around it but as you can see I'm actually gaining a bit of time They have these twi tight twisty corners which are in a combination so you don't can't actually feel comfortable so it's not like Watkins Glen where it has these long straights or like Montreal which we raced at in F1 a few weeks ago but that's a lot of straights here it's actually quite twisty and bendy and there is where you can lose it quite a bit but let me just try finish this lap and then we'll do a push lap but as stated before this is actually quite a fun circuit to drive at and this could actually bring quite a lot of enjoyment to the driver. But you might ask, Arvid, why aren't they driving here anymore? Well, it's mainly, they said, because of the money. They don't, the money isn't there in Germany to have a Grand Prix. And they don't have one of these big sponsors, apparently, who wants to help them with the funds. I believe it was. You can read on about it on the internet. But it's interesting that the money has left Germany after they don't have a good driver from Michael Schumacher to Nico Hülkenberg. They don't have anyone who is good currently or is in a championship winning position. That's why. And Mick Schumacher might not actually not be in Formula 1 next year. So the Schumacher name might not be enough to compensate for his sort of, not reckless driving, but not the best. But here it's a circuit which is quite hard to master, I would say. There I got quite a good exit, but here you have this understeery corner that you lift off a little bit. And here you have to touch in the middle. I, I completely forgot where we had to go. You have to like break there, come in, glide on the curbs, which might, but might not be possible in the new F1 game of the bottoming out but that's for you to discover and if this circuit comes into the formula one game we'll see how good it is but let me do just another lap because i think i can find a little bit more extra time Fine. So as you can see I kiss the inside without a little bit. And they didn't fully gain a lot of time but I had quite a bit of traction coming out from there. I like that corner where it dips down at the apex. I really like those type of corners. It's really fun to drive through them. 
break about there. Maybe try to stay on the circuit. Then shake more of a V-shaped line through there. Try to jump on those curves. But you have to be more careful actually in real life so you don't bottom out. And there we go. Quite a good time through there and then let's crash like Bottas. So now we are done with the driving. What is the conclusion? Well, if you think about it as an actual circuit, I believe it's a fun circuit. It can bring a lot of interesting weather changes, racing, and general a good time. But then if we think about the prospect of mastering, as we said, in Watkins then here it's much harder to master, so it's much harder to, in my opinion, to find the big chunks of time. But then also, if it's harder to, to learn and get quick, it's much harder to find these camps, hundreds and thousands of a second, which is good, in my opinion. So, should everyone go back here, in my opinion? Yes. And if you want like to see more of these type of videos, hit the like button down below, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and comment where you want me to go. Next video, I believe, might be a Reddit React, or we'll see maybe a new concept, maybe one of these, we'll have to see. But until then, I've been Racing Logic, you've been my amazing best, thank you for watching, good bye!